just want to do a real quick walkthrough, a um, bit of an update on progress and stuff like that. Certain things I've pulled out and tidied up and got ready to um, go again. But this is my ginger where I had uh, radishes on top of here. I grew radishes on top until the ginger came through and then I'll just let it grow. I'll just quickly walk you along. Turmeric's up out of the ground now. Let's see, it's, it's a couple of turmeric's there. These are the pumpkins that I featured in my last video, or one of my last videos. <coughs> Passion fruit. I only end up with getting the six out of the whole 12, so it's all right. Um, got another one here, this is what I was doing. Those are radishes, and then there's ginger. Now I've planted the ginger underneath, and I've planted the radishes on top, because it takes a little bit longer to come up. But, um, just a quick idea, that's, that's what I did this year, just for something different. And, um, yeah. So I'll just quickly duck around a few other little spots. Corn's going well. Got, um, some nice little cobs forming. They're pretty full. Got good tassels. They're not very high, but this is my early crop um, of corn that I put in. I just put it in really, really early. Um, this is also another fail of the seed quality I got that particular time. So I ended up with a bit of a fair bit of seed at that particular time of year when I bought that seed. It was not exactly good quality, as I'm finding out now. So I'll just quickly duck here into the next little spot. This is back out the front again where I've got my um, yellow pears or yellow beams. No, they're not doing quite so well. We got a bit of a heat streak and um, I forgot to water them that one day so it sort of killed them nearly. But they're all starting to come back again. Uh, as you can see there's some dragon fruit that I've planted out. These ones are can end up getting sold and then these ones here I got off the principal of the high school here, the state school, state high school and um, so these ones are white, I'm going to keep these and I'm going to start propagating some of these and start selling them on as well. Uh, you can see there's volunteer basil just there, these are all my spring onions which go on for a fair while, um, I think everyone's seen them by now. Just wait for this traffic, sorry. I've got a artichoke here as well in, the, in a big pot. Um, it's sort of got a bit of a... bit killed, a bit, bit dried out. As you can see there's a bit of... a bit of fungus on them. It's from um, powdery mildew, sorry, from watering using the sprinkler. Uh, unfortunately, it's just part of the deal when you do it with a sprinkler. It's sometimes you end up with powdery mildew and that. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do another video in the next couple of days or so and show you the next project I'm about, I'm about to finish.